Well, taking a look at what's going on around Oregon, for nearly a decade, researchers have been trying to figure out what exactly killed all the sea stars along the west coast. In 2013, multiple species of sea stars began dying from an illness known as sea star wasting disease. The animals would begin losing arms before eventually dissolving into the ocean. Many species, including the sunflower sea star, which can grow up to three feet wide with as many as 24 arms, have nearly disappeared from the waters off the west coast. But while the search for what causes the disease continues, one researcher at the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport has made a breakthrough on treating the illness. The first, first few trials that we did, they worked and they worked really well, better than anything we've seen before. And we were like, oh, okay, this is amazing. Tiffany Rudek does work at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. She says instead of attempting to treat the symptoms, she sought to create an environment free of stressors for six sea stars. When a sea star first shows symptoms of the disease, it's immediately quarantined and then given a bath in an iodine solution. Then the animal is moved to another tank where the temperature and pH levels are carefully controlled. Rudek then developed a mineral, a mineral cocktail that is mixed in with the water to supply the animals with everything they need to be healthy. She says the changes in the stars are visible almost immediately. So it's really, really focused on essentially putting the star in like an equilibrium state. Essentially, we're kind of making like a vitamin cocktail specific to sea stars. They're kind of twisted up usually and very unhappy looking and then they go in the bath and they just kind of relax and the results have been very encouraging so far. 15 of the 17 sick sea stars have fully recovered, with several more currently undergoing treatment. Rudex says the treatment is not a cure for the disease and it would be impossible to recreate it in the wild, but still it is a breakthrough that could help the species in the long run.